So fine, today uh, we'll go to the uh, bills and acts. Last time we were discussing about um, some quality issues. Uh, this time we'll go with the bills and acts in the the way of uh, uh, current affairs part. So there are many bills which have been listed. So you would have taken note of that in the list. But uh, out of that, some are very important, especially uh, like uh, mines and minerals, which are really favorite on part of uh, uh, UPC, right? Uh, and you know, the present, uh, the Women Reservation uh, Bill, or recently it has been uh, into an act. So this is also one of the important uh, uh, acts which can be asked at large. And apart from that, these two acts which were in use for all bad reasons, and uh, the tenth anniversary of uh, um, the Porsche Act, as well as Poxo, you know, uh, various cases has been there, and increasing cases has been there with respect to this. So, with all these, you can see that uh, these are there. And one important act which you can expect for mains also is your Digital India Act, which comes up with a variety of information regarding the IT and IT <clears throat> related services, especially it uh, it is after 20 years because um, 20, uh, I mean, 2000, we had the IT Act, which was in enacted. And now after 23 years, we have uh, replaced it uh, with uh, some Digital India Act 2023. So all these are some of the important acts which you can uh, remember there. Apart from that, there are many other acts like uh, medical uh, education, pharmacy, okay, uh, other uh, acts. But uh, apart from these, uh, uh, especially the drug and uh, pharma related, all those are there. But uh, though they are in use, these are some of the favorite areas of UPSC where you, you need to know in and out of these acts, right? So anyway, we will first start with the Women Reservation uh, Bill, and uh, actually it is an act now. So anybody, can you give what is a Constitution Amendment uh, number for Women Reservation Bill? 106th. Uh, 106, okay. So in case if they ask for bill, so in case if they ask for bill, Bill number. Usually they won't ask in that way in case. So it is 128th. Okay. So bill means it is 128th, whereas uh, Constitutional Amendment Act is 106. Okay. So remember that 106 is important. 128 is not that easy. Okay. So what are the provisions uh, apart from I'm talking about uh, the Women Reservation Bill other than that? Okay, so apart from this Women's Reservation Bill or the Act, where are uh, the provisions of the Constitution which provides women some reservation or some mention about special provision for women? Can you provide the articles? So, so with the 73rd and 74th Amendment Act, we have... Hmm. 33% reservation for women in uh, local bodies. Okay. That was the first like constitutional, uh, one of the most important representatives. Okay. So before that body. also we have, but uh, what are the other areas? Article 15, okay. Special provisions for women. Okay, good. And under 73 and 74, we have 33 also, we have 50 also, right? So, yes, sir, in some states. Mm. So, Article 15, then? Any other article with respect to women specifically? Sir, Article 23. 23, which one? Like, it's sir, from common only. Only. I'm, uh, say, generally, uh, every uh, article will come in, but I'm asking specifically. Say, for example, 15, it has special provision for women, kind of, right? Any other? Check out 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Any 
പിന്നെ ഏത് ഓക്കെ ഡി പി എസ് പി സി വെൻ യു റീഡ് ഫണ്ടമെന്റൽ റൈറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ഡി പി എസ് പി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ഫസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ റിമെമ്പർ ദാറ്റ് യു നീഡ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ ദ ആർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ഇൻ ജനറൽ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ വിദിൻ എ ഫ്രാക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് സെക്കൻഡ് യു നീഡ് ടു ഗെറ്റ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ റൈറ്റ്സ് ഫോർ സിറ്റിസൺ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ റൈറ്റ്സ് ഫോർ ജനറൽ പേഴ്സൺസ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ജനറൽ anybody okay whether it is citizen or non citizen what are the provisions for children what are the provisions for women what are the provisions for minorities what are the provisions for scsts okay so these categorization is very important it will be helpful in your prelims as well as in mains okay so when you read fundamental rights uh duties and uh, dpsp you need to have all these three categories okay so all these categories in mind so try to have it uh at fingertips right okay 38 39 38 is general right 39 we have provision okay then in the article 42 mm, 42 fine then so civil code also you can say because it also talks about uh women rights right so it will be fine so be specific in what all the areas or articles we have okay so anything else we have uh, other than 73 74 for women specific so we also have a provision in fundamental duties to preserve hmm. the dignity of women women okay. fine so dignity of women so these are some of the areas where women related provisions are there in articles so remember them okay so leaving aside or setting aside women reservation bill they can ask you in other set so if they ask women reservation bill is a first reservation which is going to be provided by constitution it is not right because already we have 73 and 74 apart from that some rights other provisions with regard to state uh, duties and other provisions with regard to duties of the citizens we have some factors which are related to women okay then so what are the difference in provisioning women reservation in 73 74 and 108 106 amendment act so what difference you can see say in 73 and 74 you have three layers right so what are the three layers sir panchayat at the matlab village level intermediate mm-hmm. and the district level sir okay so how the reservation works in these three areas for women whether it operates in all three or whether it operates only in one part how it is ah uh, sir village level uh, i am very sure about it but uh, not sure about the district and the inter- intermediate hmm. May- maybe not there so but at the village level it's, it must be there Okay. And that level, it is like uh, even like a scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. If there is a uh, like women, uh, don't confuse with them. Yes, yes, you leave it. And just speak about women so that you will be clear. Ah. Uh... so only rural areas only rural areas 73 only rural areas ah that is fine 73 rural and 74 it is fine i am say in both the areas you have three tier system right yeah. my question is how the reservation is there for the three tier system whether it is only in a single area or only at the top level you have reservation there is only one word which is there which uh, uh, in the constitution which uh, does everything
what happened uh, sir i think it must be there for all the three level because uh, as per me as whatever i have read it is not like only at the village level although village mm -hmm. level i am having an experience about it but sir uh, it is very simple the provision is one third all in all levels chair persons also one third right so yes. all levels members will be one third and chair person will be one third it's very simple so in one line they will just give you right so these are certain areas where the statements will be tricky understood so when they just uh, it's all open uh, provisions but when the statement is coined or framed uh, in this particular manner uh, say 73rd and 74th uh, provides uh, only at chairperson level. So at that time, you will end up with uh, some confusion. Okay, whether it is chairperson or whether it is members. Okay, at all levels, every seat, uh, seat I mean, in the total seats as well as in the chairperson level, you have reservation. How about the reservation in 106? One not six seven one act, how the reservation is provided. So, so one third reservation is going to be provided at Lok Sabha, mm. uh, State Legislative Assembly, and mm. UT of Delhi. And for mm. Jammu and Puducherry, they have a different app. Mm. Okay. That was included only later, right? In this uh, bill, it is not. Yes, right? sir. In the bill, it's only. Uh, so, yeah. remember that this is one of the main issue. Why? Because what they will say, you would have separately read reservation is there in all these areas. So, there is uh, Delhi, Puchari, Jammu and Kashmir, and kind of. What they will say, under the consider the following regarding Women Reservation Act 2023. Okay. And they will say it reserves seats for women in Delhi, Puducherry, and uh, Jammu and Kashmir. The statement is wrong. Understood? Yes, sir. So this is one sticky area where a simple question will be there, but uh, a sticky substance will be there in that. Okay. So these are certain issues. Then. Then what are the how the provisions is provided? Like so, once the delimitation will be conducted and like seats mm -hmm. will be increased, so it is not immediate, right? So it is not immediate, only when delimitation is there, after that it will happen. Okay, so that unnecessary tie up will be there, but anyway, so understand this understood. So, how to view these type of questions? So, it's not just mere reading the provision of the act. So, try to have certain comparisons already where say the core idea is see, the question area is women reservation. Understood. So when reservation for women is going to happen, so whether it is new, that's the first question. No, it's already done. So already done means where it was done. So how it was done. Similarly here, where it was done, how it is done. What is the difference? So this is the area where it is going to be the question factor. Understood. Say for example, so you have a certain factors here. So you would have uh, seen this also uh, before. So here, uh, one third of all seats for women in Lok Sabha, State Legislative Assembly and Legislative Assembly of the NCT. So remember, it is only for elected house, not for the permanent house like Rajya Sabha or the Legislative Councils. Yeah, that is also because in uh, what they will do, Lok Sabha they will give, but they will give a state legislature. Okay. So when they give state legislature, then uh, in case if it is going to be uh, uh, assembly and uh, uh, state uh, councils, legislative council, it applies only to the state assembly. Okay. So remember that. Fine. And uh, in that particular case, you remember that uh, technically they will give only state assembly. So, in if it is generally legislature, it cannot be accepted, okay? Because it is not for state legislature as such, because legislature may have to. So, it is only for the assembly, okay? Fine. Say, uh, because the words are important. 
uh, women have one third reservation in parliament. Now the statement is not correct. It is not parliament. It is only for Lok Sabha. Likewise. Okay. Fine. Similarly, uh, the articles which are in inserted for Lok Sabha, state legislature, union territory of Delhi. So all these you try to look into. Okay. I don't suppose they will ask, but they may ask uh, which is uh, going to be that particular uh, reservation area. But uh, you just understand the numbers. You may not... Uh, depend upon uh, uh, mugging, uh, mugging them up. So I don't suppose they are going to uh, write, I mean, address this uh, in this particular way. They may have a frame of question in a different manner. Okay. So similarly, rotation of seats, how the seats are going to be rotated. So it is only uh, for, uh, during the delimitation. And how many years it will be? Only for 15 years. Okay. Unless a law made by a parliament. Clear? So this is the logic, how it is. And similarly, you try to uh, have uh, certain facts which are there with respect to these. Uh, say these are just a, a formality of having it. It may not be asked, but still, uh, it, it's better to have it. So when it is first introduced, because sometimes what happened uh, in PMLA, they said no. So five times they have amended the act, same way. So they can say, four times or uh, five times they have uh, introduced this particular bill. So kind of, so in case if that uh, naughty question is going to be there, then you can uh, have some idea. So 1996, the first uh, attempt was made and 98 to 2003, four failed attempts with it. Say so it was not much of introduction there, which was made. And finally, uh, a new bill was tabled in 2009 where uh, Raya Sabah alone passed it, but unfortunately it couldn't be passed in Lok Sabha. So with that, it was uh, done away with and later it was in 2023. So this particular bill came into existence. Yeah, a new bill was introduced. And uh, issues and all, they won't ask in as of now in uh, what do you call the uh, uh, problems part. But anyway, so those areas of comparison, those areas of issues, so they can be a potential question. And similarly, a remote area, remote chance, some personality is related to. Okay, so in case if they want to ask uh, Begum Shanawas or um, Sarojini Naidu or Renuka Ray or uh, Pramila Dandavati, so these are some of the important personalities related to it. Okay, so just to remember, like Rakamabai, when they went for the uh, what you call conjugal rights. So the same way they can ask you uh, from in the kind of or uh, Renukare, so who uh, batted for it. Okay. So, but otherwise, I don't suppose much of facts is going to be there. They will seek on to because the uh, trend of you see how they have, they are uh, within the provisions, they play within the provisions like what we have seen before. Clear? Fine. So these are some of the things which uh, happened. In this particular time, say actually, when um, in 2000, that is in this particular time, so, um, here in this particular time, when they were trying to regain the track with this particular setup, uh, this question was actually asked in means the Beijing Declaration. Okay, so way back in. 2009, I suppose, instead of Women Reservation Bill, they asked a Beijing Declaration. Okay, so likewise, that uh, game will be played by UPSC. Okay, so that is why we try to, uh, instead of Women Reservation in Lok Sabha and uh, State Assemblies, they will ask you about the Women Reservation in uh, these areas, that is, Panchayat Raj and municipalities. Okay. So this is one important act. The second important act, what we have is uh, this one, that is uh, Mines and Mineral Development uh, uh, Regulation Act. See, this act is, uh, the case is still pending. One case is pending, whether the states have the taxation right or not. I think uh, this week the hearing is happening check whether uh, judgments are uh, provided. If so, that is important. 
okay that is really important with respect to upsc right because this mines and mineral i think almost four five questions have appeared uh, with regard to this uh, uh, act right so actually this act was uh, uh, recently uh, in news because of this amendment okay say uh, many issues are there with regard to this one is critical minerals okay so try to understand what is a critical mineral okay and we have approved around 30 to 31 critical minerals in india okay we have a list of 30 to 31 uh, minerals in uh, india okay so uh, apart from that you have uh, uh, what you call uh, this critical mineral Previously, it was only public, that is, government can do it. Whereas now, it is done even through private. That is, the amendment opens up to private. Okay? These are all certain areas which you need to be, uh, uh, be aware of. right? So, this makes this particular amendment very important. Okay, So, this uh, reclassification of minerals, the critical minerals, that is the rare earth minerals are called as critical minerals. So these critical minerals and uh, how the critical minerals are coming in, out of this, how the six minerals are coming up with. Okay, so reclassification of minerals. So six minerals, lithium, niobium, uh, tantalum, beryllium, and zirconium. Okay, so they are critical and strategic uh, minerals which are there. Okay, so they are now called as critical and strategic minerals instead of atomic minerals. Okay, so these are all certain areas where you need to be uh, uh, aware of. Okay, so major amendments with respect to regulating, major amendments with respect to exploration, major amendments with respect to schedules. Okay, so first schedule, what are they? Seventh schedule, what are they? Okay, so seventh schedule is a thing where you have that uh, 29 and 30 minerals. And uh, apart from that, you have per schedule, which has you uh, four parts, okay? So part D consists of 24 minerals, and uh, seven schedule have 29 minerals, in which uh, the six minerals which are mentioned above will be there. That is, the strategic minerals will be here. So this is how the uh, 30 minerals, uh, 30 critical minerals are differentiated, okay? Six will be in seven schedule, and uh, first schedule will consist of 24 critical minerals, okay? So why they have made it and how this particular thing is going to happen, so how the auctions are going to be done, okay? So all these are coming in, understood? So this is how the questions will be framed and which can be uh, whether union government does it or state government does it, so you can see Exploration license is done, but the ex exploration license will be given by uh, state government, whereas the guidelines will be given by the central government. Okay, so likewise there are certain nuances which are so these are all potential areas of questions. Okay, so here how the private agencies come in. So all these details you try to have it. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, I think someone has asked uh, where it is. You have it in the uh, Insta itself. You can just uh, have it. Anyway, I will share the PDF. Uh, the entire PDF can be shared, not a problem. So this is how uh, it is. Okay. So the entire MMDR Act in this particular area has been um, restructured. So naturally, it becomes more important, especially the case which is also pending. Okay, with all these factors, you have to have the question. Understood? So definitely go through these acts. Clearly understand what are the uh, different features we have, different uh, critical, especially critical minerals, what they have, and what are all the other different aspects uh, with respect to the critical minerals. So say to a larger extent, you can also go through some uh, potential application of these minerals also. That is uh, two extra population of this. But still, within this act, they can ask all these aspects. Who will regulate? 
who will explore for that who will give uh, framework and uh, condition who will give license <clears throat> and how the license is re uh, renewed okay so uh, once in 3 years it has to be renewed and uh, the area so area they may not just specifically ask but these are certain areas where they can have okay so exploration license will be of 5 years whereas uh, the area how it is going to be the area will be for 3 years once and the license can be ex uh, extended for 2 years in one go so all these factors are there okay but i suppose the question will be limiting to exploration license your schedule of minerals okay so what type of minerals you have what is critical and strategic mineral which of them are which are not like this clear so be clear in those areas okay fine then so here these are some of the updated list what we have with respect to this okay so in this particular updated list you can see uh, certain areas where you have these critical minerals okay especially like uh, antimony molybdenum okay all these are new uh, in uh, discoveries what we have made okay So this is also a potential area, a geography question, what you can have, right? So any, any doubt on this? No, sir. Okay, so uh, remember, um, all these uh, details related to MMDR is important really because um, with the past experience, given the past experience with the UPSC having this, uh, they have even asked a very inner detail uh, with respect to district level, uh, uh, what do you call district level, uh, Mining, I mean, uh, authorities, okay, mining authorities and so on, district mining authority, DMA. So, a couple of years before. So, their favorite area is this, okay. So, try to be clear in these areas. So, certain areas when you uh, spend time, okay, it will have a very good uh, benefit of reaping uh, masks. So, this is one such area, okay. It's fine. So the next important thing is these two. So especially for these two areas, so what you need to do is, the main area of contention is your uh, provisions, okay? So try to under understand the provisions. So what are the provisions you have? Especially more than 10th anniversary, uh, the sp uh, sports person that uh, I think the hockey club or something, uh, I mean, football, football or hockey, with, with some issues happened, right, recently. So, uh, even the uh, I mean, uh, Indian Olympic Committee also came down heavily upon them. So, these, uh, with that issue also, the protection of women uh, comes uh, uh, very important. And uh, many cases which are being filed under box holds. So, try to have provisions, uh, importance of provisions. Try to have uh, give importance to penalty. Okay, so two areas, these are important. Okay, so what are the provisions, how the protection happens, and what are the penalty for different uh, uh, types of offenses. So these two, they can ask. And uh, in mains also, these two will come into an important uh, aspect. Safety, women safety, child safety, etc. Okay, so those aspects you try to have. So then, as a Digital India Act. So what is, uh, what is actually Digital India Act? Anyone? What is all about Digital India Act?
No idea. Okay. So okay. actually, so it's, uh, it's a data protection bill, something like. Ah, uh, data protection is a subset of it. So Digital India is almost. Uh, it is with respect to, uh, your, uh, what do you call the, data transfer, right? Say, for example, you have digital communication like OTT, you have uh, broadcasting, podcasting, webcasting, many things are there. So you have D2H. So all these comes under Digital India. Whereas digital personal data protection is different. And uh, your, uh, especially the uh, DNA sampling, you have separate uh, uh, amendments which have been done to CRPC, right? So with respect to uh, collecting DNA samples, face recognition, so all these, that is having a separate act with respect to uh, maintenance of crime records. So face recognition technology. For that, we have a separate uh, act, okay? All these will form a nutshell for protection against cyber crimes or data crimes and so on. So not only in films, in mains, you need to create a architecture. Say, you collect all these acts, the Digital India Act, Personal Data Act, you have your Face Recognition Act and uh, DNA sampling, that particular DNA Recognition Act. Uh, all these acts together, how the cyber crime and other stuff is there. So that architecture comes in. Okay. So collect them. It will be helpful for you to have it in the means also. Okay. So these acts acts as a fundamental uh, thing for the cyber crime issues what we face uh, nowadays okay so especially this particular digital india act they say india want to have these two acts i mean these two rights to be provided right to be forgotten right to have digital inheritance so what is digital inheritance digital inheritance means their data may be transferred to one to other and the data asset may be there, digital assets may be there. That digital asset inheritance, right, should be there. Okay. So that inheritance, uh, like uh, how your financial assets are inherited, same way digital assets, how it is inherited. So for that, the right to inheritance. Right to be forgotten is, say, I may forget uh, in uh, down the line, 20 years before how it was, I may forget, right? So right to be forgotten and uh, right to be right to have digital inheritance. So these two are basically one of the basic rights which are promoted by these. Okay. So this is one important aspect, what it is. So this is also an implied right under 21, which we have right to be forgotten. And now we are including this as a digital inheritance right, what we try to promote. Okay. These two rights you try to have, they can ask you. Not about this, but about this. Okay. And same way, uh, this one that is uh, uh, with respect to digital communication commission or digital communication. So those areas also you try to have some recap. Uh, though it was there uh, much earlier, a uh, couple of years before, still because of Digital India Act, they can ask you. Uh, digital communication commission likewise okay so that can be asked now okay so these are certain areas which are there which you need to remember okay apart from that you also uh, go with that uh, facial recognition under cpc csl crpc uh, facial recognition of uh, criminals okay so that issue is also there you try to add on to this Clear? So these, out of those handful of uh, acts, so these are some of the acts which are very highly important uh, for uh, exam which you need to take care of. Clear? So any questions regarding these? Okay. Fine. So... Next part, what we can have, shall we have, uh, say, any weaker area you have so that we can 
touch upon them first. Later, we come upon uh, others in that list. Any suggestions you have? Environment, okay. One has the environment. Science and tech. Science and tech, okay. Anybody else? History, okay. History has a bit lit uh, updation. Okay, then? Economy, everybody, one, one, one. Okay. Anybody else? Depends. Okay, that is science and tech. Okay. Economy. Okay. Okay, fine. So we'll take up uh, um, science and tech first because two, three people, they have space areas. Okay. So science and tech uh, uh, space and those, say we'll have few, uh, some from science and tech, some from uh, economy and uh, some from environment mixed kind of okay so we'll have uh, in that manner so because we have three days so we have we can do that so this time we will start with uh, science and tech so in science and tech we will have defense and space okay so defense and space we will take so you, you just choose it from the list uh, the topics defense and space completely we'll do uh, one day space, one day difference. Okay, so that we will finish. Next week we will have uh, the environment part and economy. Okay, meanwhile you try to prepare and come. Okay, so Wednesday we will meet at 8 p.m. and we will go with uh, space and difference. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.